Kia ora, we are learning to order unit fractions with the same denominator and be able to explain why they are larger or smaller. When I have a look at these fractions, so each of them have got a different numerator, which is the 5, the 7 and the 2, but they all have the same denominator. So if we look at the shapes, we can see that this one here has got 2 out of 8. So 8 is the denominator and two parts of the fraction are shaded in. Now, do you think you could sort those in order of largest to smallest? Using a number line. So we can see the start of our number line is 1 over 8 or 1 eighth. And we can see the end of the number line is 8 over 8 or 8 eighths or the equivalent to one whole number. Whereabouts might you place those fractions on that number line? This might be a good place to pause the video and have a chat to your buddy. First of all, we're going to sort them in order of smallest to largest. Did you work out with your buddy how you were going to sort them? Let's see if you are correct. Do they match mine? So I would place my 2 eighths here, and then 5 eighths, and then 7 eighths, and then 8 eighths there. So you should be able to see the numbers, the numerators going up, and obviously the denominator all remains the same because it's the same number. Can you do the same again, but this time sorting it with the largest order, the largest numerator against the denominator? You may notice at the bottom on our number line that I've flipped the numbers around. So this time we're starting with 8 eighths, or the same as the equivalent to one whole of a shape. And at the furthest end, we've got 1 eighth. So the biggest number, the largest number, is going to go this end and work in its way down to the smallest end. This might be a great place to pause the video and have a look. See if you and your buddy can work it out. Did you get it correct? Does it match my number line? 8 eighths, 7 eighths, 5 eighths, 2 eighths, and 1 eighth. It's real handy being able to see the shape next to the numerator and the denominator. Puts a real visual in my head. Next, what I want you to do before you come back to the workshop and see me, I want you to see if you can order these fractions from the biggest or from the largest to the smallest this time you'll notice I haven't given you any images to have a look at. Can you apply what you've learned and be able to order these fractions from the largest number to the smallest number? Until next time.